Welcome to Complin on Thursday the 23rd of April 2020. As I mentioned this morning in morning prayer, it's that chance to remember St George, St George's Day. And so we just pause for a moment, reflect upon the day that's been and bring our thoughts together. We say together, the Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. And so we either sing or say the words of that beautiful hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And we say the psalm, Psalm 104. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is a sea spread far and wide. And there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that the Lithuanian, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and forever. Amen. And some scripture. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, 
I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Now for the words of the Nunc Dimittis. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. And now for our time of prayer. We just pause and reflect on all that the day has given to us. Perhaps the conversations we've had. The people we've met. I know birthdays are being celebrated. And for some, today has been the last day and people are mourning the loss of loved ones. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us. Through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world, may rest upon your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we just hold a moment's quiet as we pray for those who've asked for our prayers or whom we know that might be struggling in body, mind or spirit. We say the collect for today, and it's the collect for St. George, as it was this morning. God of hosts, who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George, that he bore witness to the risen Lord by his life and by his death, give us the same faith and power of love, that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him the fullness of the resurrection, through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
Let me say together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace. We will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. So, come to the end of another day, which we'll be clapping very soon for our key workers, for all that we know and love that work for the NHS in our schools, hospitals, shops, to help to keep us safe. So we will be clapping for our carers and then may see you for morning prayer tomorrow at nine. Maybe Compline tomorrow evening. God bless you wherever you may be and keep well, keep safe, keep praying and keep connected. God bless. Good night.